um, me and my Eric came to town because Eric was living in New York because he's an actor by profession. And he came to town and we went to church, him and me and my youngest daughter. Had you had had a relationship with your youngest with your your youngest daughter? Had you been in her life? I've I've been in my youngest daughter all her life. Okay. I remember when she was born. Good. And I remember um, I was in the um, waiting room, but I was you know I was in the in the operating room when she came into mm -hmm. this world, and I was the first one to hold her. How old is she now? She is now twenty two. Um, she have one semester to go before she graduate college, you know, and I've been a. Uh, a very important part of her upbringing. And, you know, um, we was talking one day. We was out, me and her having lunch one day, and she told me, thank you, Daddy, for being in my life. You've been so important to me. But I can remember a time that I didn't do the right thing in her life. You know, I can remember 20 years ago when she was two, and I was smoking that crack. And her mother gave me the honor to watch her for a while. You know, I don't babysit my child. I, I, will, I will watch my child. This is my child. Right. And I'm trying to smoke coke and keep her upstairs at the age of two years old. I don't think she remember any of that. So I'm just, I've been blessed to be able to be her ATM machine mm -hmm. since I've been clean. <laughs> and anything else she needs from me. Praise the Lord. You know, and, and being able to be an ear for her and help her guide her life in the right direction. You know, God has, has put a special bond between daddies and daughters and a special bond between sons and mothers. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I never knew about that. I mean, I studied it, uh, uh, stu studied Freudian, Freudian psychology and, and studied uh, uh, the dynamics um, in college. Uh, from a psychological standpoint of view, but I, it didn't really hit me until I had children myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's nothing like a bond between a mother and a son and a father and a daughter. Yes. Uh, and I, I know that's the reason why God uh, made us that way, uh, husband and wife. You know, God could have had, he could have made it where, whereas there were, there were actually just two men. Right. Could have been just two men mm -hmm. uh, or, or two women, but he made a, a husband and a wife, man and woman, father and mother. And uh, your daughter sounds like my daughter, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, so so, in the recovery process, how has family been important to you? Family been important to me because of the fact that like um, what I what I come to realize is that my mother was the first one to love me, my mother and father, and I gave birth. Well, I didn't give birth. Their mother gave birth. Mm -hmm. To, uh, to three beautiful children that I have. And I realized I should have loved them first because I should have protected them and been able to nurture them to, to who they are. But see, I thank God for the mothers of my children because all three of them nurtured all three of my children. You know, and, you know, I, I have a really special daughter, my third, my middle child is a child that I didn't raise. And I didn't meet her till she was 18, officially. And she was trying to figure out what was wrong with me. She thought I was sick or something. Mm -hmm. All those years? All those years. No, she, no. Me and my daughter just had a conversation the other night. And um, she told me that she was really bitter towards me. You know, because she didn't understand the gray area, why I wasn't showing up for life for her. But now that she's uh, 34 years old, um, I have a grandson by her, you know, and she gave me the honor to watch my grandson. Wonderful. So you've been in her life now for for some years. Yes, for some years. So 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 you have three children by all the same woman or different women? Three different ladies. Three different ladies. Mm -hmm. All right. So as far as... <clears throat> Getting all three of them together is concerned. Um, that in and, in and of itself is miraculous. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And how how is your relationship with with the mothers? Your recovery, I would assume, has helped you in that process. Yes, I have a, a pretty good look. My youngest child, mother, is probably my best friend. You know, or one of my best friends. Okay. Um, <clears throat> 
through the process of getting clean, we was able to understand that we had a responsibility together to raise a child. Um, my my middle child mother had passed away, so I'm I'm her only biological parent that's alive. So I show up for her as much as I can. And my son, mother, we we will we do speak to each other when we see each other, you know. So I don't have bad feelings towards any of them because of the fact that what they gave me, they gave me three beautiful gifts, you know, and the gifts that they gave me is priceless. So what recovery have gave me is actually a priceless gift of life back. They, they all of them call you daddy? All of them call me daddy. You hug and kiss all of them? I hug and kiss all of them. And you got some grands? Got one grandson that's mm -hmm. nine years old, and he run and hug me when he see me. Praise the Lord. That's a blessing. Yes. That's a blessing. There, there are some men out there in the Ray Listing audience who need some help and some hope. 